What is up guys, Ix of Mashes here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different that I thought about doing for, honestly, probably a year now since I thought about doing for Season 9. But today I'm going to be talking about just a bunch of random things that I would like to see from the upcoming season, which of course is Season 11. Now, whether this is something I want to see from the sets or the actual season, I'm just going to bring it up, you know, who knows, maybe it'll happen. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So first off, as I'm sure all of you have seen by now, Tommy Andresen did tease the idea of a Ninjago and Chima crossover in Season 11. And while I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's not going to happen because Chima's dead at this point, I do think we will see some sort of animal realm. Now we already know that Lloyd is going to be getting a wolf in an upcoming set, but what the significance of that wolf is actually going to be, I don't really know. As far as I know, it's some sort of transforming character. It's been rumored to be that Antonia person, which we did see a while back, but that's just a rumor. But what I do know is that I do want this wolf to be from another realm, and I want that realm to be explored in some sort of way. Now whether I want the ninja to actually go there, I'm not sure because I think it'd be cool if they did, but it might be a little bit too soon for them to travel through realms again. So it might just be better at this point to give us the history of it and show it in some flashbacks or something of that type. Either way, I do want to see it developed. Now coming off Season 10, Garmadon is kind of in a weird spot right now. He sort of hit a bit of a crossroads where he could come back or he could lay out for a season. But here's my thing with Garmadon. If you're going to use him, actually do something with him. And when I say do something, I mean do something new. I don't want to see the, oh, is, is he going to go turn? Is he going to help Lloyd? Or is he, he going to not help him? We've seen, we've seen that like in seven different seasons. Okay, we don't need to see it again. Just come up with something new and actually do it. Now from what we know about this season as far as the sets go, it seems that we're going to be getting some fire villains and that this is going to be revolving around Zane as the main ninja. But what I do want to see, especially from the sets, is that I really want to see them really develop the actual fire and ice thing. I really would like to see them move on from just some generic color like black or brown, kind of like the Nexo Knights, you know, where they use brown and then they had hints of transparent colors in there. I really want them to just try to go full in on the transparent colors to really go full in that aspect kind of like they did with the uh, volcano layer because I think that's generally really cool and it's not something they do a lot but you, you can see like in the new Lego movie 2 set I don't remember the name of but you guys can see it they really go with the trans blue ice thing and I think that'd be really cool for the ice castle in particular although we did get a sort of leaked drawing I'm not sure if I could show that or not but we did get a leaked drawing of it it doesn't look like they're going to be going with that which is kind of unfortunate but I would really like to see them go full in on the fire and ice aspect for these sets now like I was saying earlier it's very likely that Zane's going to be the main ninja here. So with that being the case, I do hope we get to learn more about the original Master of Ice. He's kind of a very, very vague character. We really don't know much about him or even his relationship with Zane. That's something I would really like to see them kind of define since really all, all there is with them is that there's elemental power. I'd like to see more about him, see if he has some sort of history with these fire villains that we were supposedly getting. I just want to get some more back and more development between him and Zane and just him as a character. Now I'm sure this might annoy some people, but I am so done with Lloyd right now. Now I don't, I don't know if you guys realize this, but for the past two years, Lloyd has been the main character of every season, even season 9 where it was supposed to be all about Wu, everyone thought, oh he's a golden dragon master, he's got the golden armor, he must be the main character, but no, 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 it's just gonna revolve around Lloyd the whole time, that's gonna end with the giant focus on Lloyd and getting the powers back, but uh, I mean, it's just, how, how many significant things have even happened to Eek's Ninja, like just off the top of my head, uh, we have Kai, he had that 2 minute crafting scene, Zane, I don't know, he, he hasn't really done anything, Nia, push the lever the wrong way, I, I guess, I don't know. Jay had that super rush 30 second proposal thing. Cole died for half half an episode. Um, 
I don't know, I'm probably forgetting something, but if I can't remember it, it really probably didn't really matter. But I mean, just compare that to Lloyd, who met the first Finjutsu Master, he lost and regained his powers, he had that whole Harumi thing, Garmanon came back, he went to the spooky clouds of duty, you guys get the point, okay? The point is just, there's just so much, it's just such an offset, there's too much Lloyd stuff right now. And I mean, I know, there's like a 0% chance that Lloyd would actually take a complete backseat in this next season, and I'm fine with that, he doesn't need to take a complete backseat. Seat, but give someone else a focus just move away from him a little bit and I mean at least at least that's looking pretty likely because Zane's supposed to be the main character here but I mean Wu is supposed to be the main character of season 9 so we'll, we'll see how that goes just try to make Lloyd less prominent it's just it's been too much for the last two years but yeah, that was my wish list for things I would like to see them do for Season 9, whether it be sets or the actual show. Let me know some things in the comments that you guys would like to see. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.